we came up with taking the knee to try to show more respect to the men and women that fight for this country. I'm going to try to say this the best way I know how. Right now, I don't agree with what he's doing. But two, I'm not upset with him at all. It is his right to do so. Kaepernick joined the applause when service members were saluted. The media painted this as um, anti-American, anti-men and women of the military. And that's not the case at all. The message is that police brutality is a huge thing that needs to be addressed. Is it for you to start this platform right now? Again, I disagree. Am I mad with you? No. Is that what you want to do? Go right ahead. Go right ahead. But let us not forget, all these people are burning, burning his jersey. Oh, they're upset. This ain't about the military. This ain't about the men and women that are serving for our, our, our service across the, uh, across the world. He's talking about the police officers that have killed young black men and that were innocent. And it's a problem. Are we killing each other in this reason? Hell yeah, we are. Hell yeah, and that's a problem. And it's no and, and and are we not paying enough attention to that? No, we are not paying enough attention to that. We are not paying enough attention to that. It needs to be paid attention everywhere. But let us not forget the you guys that are burning his jersey. You and I don't want to be racist, maybe. Now, I'm not saying racist ways. But you older white people. In your 60s and your 70s. You were the same people that taught us this. Gigantic Kesar Stadium holds the mass rally, where anti-war songs and speeches trigger a short scuffle between pro and con factions. No one was injured. Both demonstrations were sponsored by a loose coalition of left-wing, pacifist, and moderate anti-war groups. President Johnson, meanwhile, let it be known that the FBI is closely watching all anti-war activity. Was that not you? Was that not you? Were you not the ones that were doing the same thing in the 60s? I'll wait. I stand for the National Anthem and Star Spangled Banner. I take my hat off. I put my hand over my heart. My grandfather fought in, the war, in World War II. This is the same grandfather that when he came home from fighting for our freedom was not allowed to be a, be a carpenter or join any carpenter union because he was black. Yet still, he stood up for the Star Spangled Banner. Yet still, he taught me. Yet still, he was not able to vote. And when he was able to vote, he pressed on me the importance that I would always vote. So no, I don't agree with you, Colin. But I understand. And I'm not mad. I think it's the wrong platform. I think it's the wrong platform. I worry. I worry about about the people in the stands that there's going to be one or two that agree with you. Hey, five or six, maybe a hundred that sit down on opening day. Beer, liquor, football, anger, and the man standing next to you is going to stand. And he's going to look at those fans and he's going to, and they're going to argue. And we're going to have fighting in the stands. Please know. So, Colin, I feel like this is not the right platform for you to do so. But I'm not mad at you. But I'm mad at are people calling you a traitor. Oh, that's so disrespectful. It was, oh, oh, a little disrespectful. A little disrespectful. But it's your right. It's your right to say something. I mean... I don't know what the back history is. Do we all know what the back history is? All we do know 
is that you were adopted by two a, a seemingly wonderful white parents raised in an affluent neighborhood raised in a nice way and you didn't grow up with oppression so it's not your platform to fight I don't know your personal life I don't know where you've been I don't know if on the off season you go to the clubs in Atlanta and, and you've been hassled I don't know I know today I don't have a million dollars I know I haven't been afforded the opportunities you have. Hey, that's that. I don't have your God-given talent. I can't even do what you do when you do it bad. So, wrong platform, Colin. People, please remember the history. Because he's not the first one to do this. And ain't nobody bringing up all that footage from the 60s at all. Oh, you don't want to talk about that. You don't talk about how you spit on the Vietnam veterans when they came home. You're talking about this military service. He's not even speaking about the military service. He's not even talking about that. But you guys did. And we don't even speak about that anymore. No. No. Not at all. Even so, the crowd's reaction was loud and clear. And he's receiving, receiving heavy boos here. Meanwhile, in another game in Oakland, California, another player, Seahawks defensive back Jeremy Lane, also sat out the anthem in solidarity with Kaepernick. I'm very happy. I'm very proud of him for doing that. Kaepernick's ongoing protest came the same night as a lavish ceremony to honor the military here in San Diego. It's home port to the majority of the Pacific Miami Fleet Dolphins running back Arian Foster spoke with Kaepernick and shares his frustration. Just because we drink out of the same water fountains, people think it's over. Well, it's not because I feel it on a day-to-day -day basis. But my stance is to support an American doing a very American thing. Now, Kaepernick says he's planning on doing more than just sitting out the national anthem. He told me that he is going to donate the first million dollars he makes this year to organizations that support justice for people of color. A peace demonstration ironically erupts into violence. Police alerted to possible trouble, stopped the marchers just short of their goal, and then the march turned into a riot. The next phase, a sit-down protest. Police and firemen, too, had a solution. A solution, H2O, applied freely and under high pressure by the Rome Fire Brigade. The strong water jets bowled over demonstrators one after another. They dried out in the pokey. 